Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rest, and in this video, I want to go over the new Battle Rifle. Now, obviously, everybody's been going over this for PvP, but honestly, for a PvE standpoint, especially on Warlocks, this is actually going to be a game changer. It is insanely good, and I really, really hope this video can explain why to you. So if you do enjoy this, consider doing all the normal YouTube stuff. It really helps me out and our community grow by getting these videos out there for everyone to see. I truly appreciate it. So starting off, if you don't know, the Battle Rifle is dropping from the 30th anniversary event. You could just go do the six-player activity and have a chance to get it from the chest when you spin your little key. You got to go talk to Shahan. All right, let me open this. I'd like to think that you have to feed the horse. Twice. I don't know if it's given to you, but I got a BR. Let's go! <laughs> I'm still excited. Wait. This does have random rolls like every other legendary in the game, and it can actually get some crazy things both PvE and PvP. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm sure you've already seen all the things for PvP. So this video is specifically going to be based on PvE because I think it is going to be one of the best pulse rifles in the game for that. So heading over to D2 Gunsmith, we actually take a look at it right here. There's a bunch of different combinations you can get. And in the first column, you have Outlaw, Killing Wind, Auto Loading Holster, Perpetual Motion, Demolition, and Snapshot. In the second column, you have Blunt Execution Rounds, Eye of the Storm, Kill Clip, Adrenaline Junkie, Elemental Capacitor, and Range Finder. Now, real quick for PvP, if you do want to roll like Elemental Capacitor, Range Finder, Snapshot, all those are going to be good. But again, this video is not for that. But if you actually take a look for PvE, though, obviously you have things like Outlaw Kill Clip, which could be really good. Even things like Demo Elemental Capacitor would be good. Elemental Capacitor is like one of the best perks in the game, depending on the subclass you use. It's also really good for PvP. Perpetual Motion is not even that bad, but let's be honest the real thing that we're going to be going for which pairs really well with warlock is the fact that this can roll demolitionist and adrenaline junkie if you don't know adrenaline junkie actually got buffed it's basically just swashbuckler for grenades you get the damage bonus when you get a kill it gets max stacks if you get a grenade kill then obviously demolitionist when you get a kill with the gun it will give you grenade energy back and when you throw your grenade it also reloads the gun which isn't that big of a deal but you will be spamming grenades which is cool now since you're getting more damage uh with adrenaline junkie it's easier to proc demolitionist and then since you're proccing demolitionist you get your grenades back to proc adrenaline junkie to max sacks if you need to and you see the combo you just get a lot of damage a lot of grenade energy with this it's really really good now it's not actually where it ends obviously if you just get these two perks it's going to be really good uh on any character i'll specifically talk about why on a warlock in a second but if this this role right here alone is going be really good obviously uh even stasis like dust field cooldowns uh being reduced this is also really really good uh just to have but it is going to be slightly better on warlocks now if you go in the next column you can take something like ricochet rounds get some more range and stability which is really good and also ricochet rounds makes the gun just more fun honestly you could just bounce bullets everywhere uh, all the barrel options you can take kind of whatever you want but honestly i would definitely recommend taking arrowhead break because if you see right here it actually gives 100 recoil direction which means the gun's just going to shoot up so now not only do you have your gun just very very easy to land headshots you're also ricocheting bullets everywhere you're getting grenade energy back when you get a kill plus you're getting a bunch of damage when you get kills as well this this gun right here is going to completely change the pve meta up especially if it's just like farming strikes and stuff it is going to be really really good and really really fun to use now for masterwork i honestly would just go with something like reload speed since you don't have a reload base perk like outlaw take a reload seat master work with a you know a two cost reload uh pulse rifle gauntlet you'll be able to reload this thing insanely quick really really nice and then for mods you can take something like minor spec because obviously that's what this gun is for is just to slay some smaller ads get your grenades back and this thing's gonna be really good to me this roll exactly right here is a five out of five roll uh you get the reload suit master work uh, air hood break for easy shooting uh ricochet rounds for easy shooting as well plus just more fun demolitionist uh for more grenade energy than adrenaline junkie for more damage and it just all combos together all well in one gun makes it super super versatile and i definitely would recommend trying to farm for this thing now let's talk about why this is going to be insanely good on warlocks now obviously like i said you could do this on any character that demo buff is going to be good for any grenade build on any character now for warlock specifically this is in the energy slot with a solar element so if you run something like verity sprout which basically means when you get a elemental kill that matches your subclass type you're going to get more grenade regeneration grenade damage and then also when you throw your grenade not only now you're reloading your gun you're also giving all your other teammates grenade energy as well and then with the recent buff to bottom steel tree dawn blade so your grenades actually are able to basically blow people up all the burns blow people up this is going to be really really good paired together obviously you can already have some insane grenade builds with the hunter discipline with bottom tree dawn blade before this gun existed so now you're actually going to have this gun existing to make that even better which is going to be ridiculous plus on top of that they also changed the cooldowns up so even if you want to run something like firebolt 
to just guarantee uh two kills and explosion since you will get that damage crease you're going to be able to just throw firebolts everywhere since they have such a little cooldown and just literally blow everything up constantly it is going to be so so fun like i already said i would definitely definitely try to farm this if you do play a warlock even if you don't it's going to be really really good just a really stable pulse rifle and i honestly think this is going to be the best pve pulse rifle in the game so again really quick five out of five is reload masterwork uh arrowhead break ricochet rounds demolitionist and adrenaline junkie definitely run a minor spec on it and this will 100 be one of the most fun guns for pve in the game you're gonna get your grenade back like crazy and i am super excited to get one myself but that's gonna do all for this video if you guys would like to see more like this be sure to stick around if you want me to go over a specific weapon and what it might do you can and i will 100 have a build coming out with this as soon as i can get it and just going over a bunch of interactions with the new cooldowns of grenades because it's gonna be really crazy definitely stick around but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace